Hi, I am so super proud of this painting, but I'm not going to show it to you until after I show you how I made it. Like I said in video number eight, I love the spin and splash technique. Every single time I do it, I fall in love with it just a little bit more. Using my lightning cell formula that you can get the recipe for in video number seven here on my YouTube channel, I wanted to try this technique on a larger canvas than I'd ever used before. But in order to do that, I needed a larger spin box. I just happened to have a delivery that brought my items in an enormous box. So after a little Frankenstein reconstruction, here is my enormous, enormous spin box, which I'm totally excited about. For the cake turntable, my 14 inch cake round that I showed you in video number eight wasn't gonna be big enough to support this giant <laughs> 16 by 20 inch canvas. So I had an extra piece of wood from the table that I made from construction of my resin tent, I put that on here, covered it in some saran wrap so it would actually stick to the, the round, so everything is pretty much one unit. And then my 16 by, by 20 inch canvas, I'm totally nervous about this. Um, I put the cardboard in the back and then I put the pins in so that as you can see, they will sit on either side of this board and prevent the canvas from <laughs> ditching the board and ending up in the box. So it's all set, it's all centered, all ready to go. Okay, so I made this painting on a 16 by 20 inch canvas and I like it. It's colorful and fun and has some incredibly interesting sections that you can see on my Instagram account if you wanna take a closer look. Essentially, I proved to myself that I could use the spin and splash technique to make a larger painting. After this one, I wanted to try it again because maybe lightning does strike twice. <laughs> Little did I know. All right, same process as before. The pins are in the back of the uh, canvas, as is the cardboard. I'm gonna put down the pillow, and here we go. So this one I'm gonna do a little differently. I'm gonna make three puddles relatively close together and pretty close to the center because I wanna try a different look with this painting. This is just the regular titanium white with the pouring medium mixed in because I'm gonna use the oxide black Amsterdam cell activator for this one. Same idea, I'm gonna pick it up and I'm gonna puff this out. Oh, I lost my paper towel in the box. I give that a second to level out. <laughs> Leave that unfortunate <laughs> paper towel in there because it's now covered in paint from the last painting. There's some really cool cell action happening in this painting already. And it looks pretty level, looking at it in the uh, light. Here we go, spin number one. Paint starts to fly. Some weird thing happening in the middle, it looks like already. Let that slow down on its own. You got pretty good coverage. Just catching little glimpses of it, I um, kind of like what's happening with the negative space. Some really great cell action in there. Let's see if I can stop it. There we go. Wow. That is celly. Holy smokes. I don't know that I want to spin that again. The cells are really cool. I might, I might do one more spin. Holy smokes. That is dramatic. Very dramatic. I love the gold. That blue is really powerful. That's the reason I'm gonna spin it out one more time. Yeah, I like the way it looks though. I'm gonna spin it this way now. Here we go. Wow. That is dramatic. <laughs> Very dramatic. I like it though. I like it a lot. It's really cool. It's really, really cool. The cell action is just crazy how many different types of cells. I don't think I'm gonna spin this again. The cells are gonna become a little too distorted. 
if I spin it again. And I have such nice cells that have created in very specific areas. And I love that it's not just full of cells. It's done some really interesting things on its own. Yeah, I like it a lot. Kind of this little butterfly wing here. I love my new oversized spin box. Yay! Here it is. I think it is just gorgeous. I love this piece so much, and I'm calling it Flight, mainly because of this butterfly wing that just kind of appeared on its own. You can take a closer look at this baby on my Instagram account, and be sure to let me know what you think. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.